Well, the new conservative outrage bait just dropped, and I am enthusiastically anticipating months and months of wall-to-wall coverage over this specific change to a beloved cartoon character. Now, we'll talk about the character in question, which changed, but I've just got to say, I actually do feel a little bit bad for conservatives. I mean, imagine feeling this angry over your favorite cartoon character having their outfit changed temporarily. Imagine actually being apoplectic at the sight of a change to a cartoon character. I mean, these are very insignificant things that don't matter in the grand scheme of things, but they get deeply outraged. And this in particular um, made Candace Owens very angry to the point where she thinks that they're trying to destroy the fabric of society over this. So we'll, we'll get to that. But first, let's talk about the change to the cartoon character. So NBC News explains on Tuesday, Disneyland Paris announced Minnie was temporarily ditching her iconic red and white polka dot dress in honor of Disneyland Paris's 30th anniversary. Oh no. She will also wear it in honor of Women's History Month this March. Minnie will instead sport a navy blue pantsuit with black polka dots and her signature bow created by British fashion designer Stella McCartney. So a change to Minnie's outfit, a temporary change to Minnie's outfit is why conservatives are once again up in arms. So let's go ahead and take a look before we talk about what they say about this. Um, okay, so I actually do think that this is an incredibly ugly design. I'm getting Hillary Clinton vibes from this. <laughs> I think that the black polka dots and the bow ties are just hideous. Also, the lack of shoulder pads, in my opinion, is problematic. Um, but I'm not necessarily the biggest fashion expert, so who knows? I hate it. But at the end of the day, you can literally smear feces on Minnie Mouse's face and make that change permanent, I still wouldn't care or feel any sense of outrage over it because this is a cartoon character and it doesn't matter. So let's watch Jesse Waters and Candace Owens on Fox News explain why this is serious and what the designers of this change are trying to do. They're trying to destroy the fabrics of society. She's going to say this and it's still shocking that she would she would take it this far, but let's watch. Disney is putting Minnie Mouse in a pantsuit. That's right, they're getting rid of the skirt, mm. and this is Disney Paris or something like that. And I thought, who better to ask about this than Candace Owens, your reaction? <laughs> Why are they doing this? Oh, I'm just so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad they're doing this. Let me just tell you, Jesse, it's, it goes back to like when they did this with the M&Ms and now they're making her more masculine. And I'm glad that they're now saying, realizing that this needed to be addressed. You know, all of us were traumatized when we saw Minnie Mouse and, and, and she was looking like a female as we were growing up. I mean, look, if this is why people don't take these people seriously. They're taking all of these things that <laughs> nobody was offended by. It's like they have to get rid of them and destroy them because they're bored. You know, they're absolutely bored. They're trying to destroy fabric of our society, pretending that there's issues. So everybody looks over here. Look at Minnie Mouse. Don't look at inflation, Jesse. Look at Minnie Mouse. The world is going forward yep. because you've got her in a pantsuit. Never mind that you can't get anything at the grocery store and you can't buy a piece of bacon unless you've got $30 in your pocket. At least we're addressing the real problem, which is yeah. Minnie Mouse. That's right. That's right. They're <laughs> bored out of their minds and they're just making it all uncomfortable for the rest of us. Thank you so much, Candace Owens. She actually said they're trying to destroy fabrics of our society. How? By temporarily putting Minnie Mouse in a pantsuit. Okay. You, you can tell that she just sounds exasperated because I feel like conservatives, they've kind of milked this cow and... You know, the cow is dry now. You, you've you got, gotten outraged about Mr. Potato Head, Cat in the Hat, M&M's, all in the span of a year. Uh, I believe also another cartoon character that I'm forgetting about. Uh, maybe something, I, I, don't, I don't know. Either way, I mean, they, they've beaten this horse and it's thoroughly dead. And it's just, you know, they're trying to, to cultivate some sense of outrage, but I feel like even they don't actually care. And I'm certain that that's the case. You know, as much as I make fun of them for being angry over this, I don't think they actually care. I think that this is political theater and I think that they know that we're aware of it, but they just are doing what they have to do. Oh, this new character went woke. So I, I have to, I have to pretend to be outraged over it. Just, you don't have to. I mean, it's clear at this point that a lot of these changes, especially the M&M's ones, these are attempts to bait conservatives into being outraged so they can get publicity. I mean, what happened when uh, Nike did an ad with Colin Kaepernick and people, you know, in conservative circles were burning their, their uh, sneakers? That didn't hurt Nike at all. In fact, all of this publicity is good for business. So I feel like, you know, they've got to know at some point that 
nobody cares about this. You can tell that they don't even care. But here's one thing that stood out to me. So um, there's this conspiratorial thinking uh, with Candace. She said, look at Minnie Mouse. Don't look at inflation. So this is kind of being used. This outfit change of a cartoon character for Disneyland in Paris. Um, that's being used to assist an American political party. They thought, listen, we've got to try to find some, play, some way to help the Democrats in the midterms. They're, they're going to get wiped out. Here's what we'll do. We will um, we'll, we'll redesign Minnie Mouse's clothes, and then nobody's going to even question inflation. Nobody's going to think about climate change. All of these political issues, they're going to forget about it. They're going to forget about Build Back Better. Let's just um, let's let's put a pin on Minnie Mouse. That's the rainbow flag, and then voila, we help the Democrats. I mean, it's conspiratorial thinking that is dumb even by conspiratorial standards. I mean, does anyone think that a cartoon character having a change of clothes is a sufficient distraction for political issues taking place in a different country? Just the thinking here doesn't make any sense to me. But look, I love this personally. Um, I think that every single cartoon character needs to be revamped, needs to be made more woke, because conservatives will continue to uh, react to it in you know, uh, an outraged way. And I, I just think it's funny. I love reacting to their reactions of these changes. So I've made some recommendations as to ways that I think we can improve other cartoon characters that everyone knows and loves. For example, here's a picture of Mario that I drew protesting in front of the Florida legislature demanding equality for gay people with a trans flag pin. Here's Fred Flintstone wearing a dress with an abolished patriarchy tattoo. I mean, we love our feminist kings, don't we? <laughs> this, this, in my opinion, is the best version of Fred Flintstone, and I think that my drawing is actually better than the official character design. Just, just gonna put that out there. Here's a picture of Bugs Bunny with the "Defund the Police" T-shirt saying "A Cab," and as you can see, he is very enthusiastic about this message. Um, you know, it's nice to see someone so passionate, and this new woke version of Bugs Bunny absolutely is passionate about this. You know, he has a shirt that says "Defund the Police," but he is open to abolishing the police entirely i just want to put that out there but for now I, I think that the message that he's really settling on is defund the police here's a picture of peppa pig speaking spanish in a deep red state of alabama where they're definitely going to have issues with that because we speak english here in america but peppa pig is pushing back against that norm in america and i absolutely value him for doing this and last but not least here's spongebob properly wearing a mask while proudly displaying his COVID-19 vaccination card, proving that he not only received two doses of the Moderna COVID vaccine, but he also got his booster. You love to see it. So yeah, I mean, if you ask me, I think that there's room for every single cartoon character to improve. I've got so many more ideas that I didn't even draw. So if any of these companies want me to help them make their characters more woke, I I'm more than willing to do that. I mean, look, we could do a uh, Pikachu, with a full beard, but also makeup. We can do uh, a polyamorous Spider-Man. We can do an anti-capitalist Barbie with a Marx t-shirt. We could do a lesbian Marge Simpson. I've got endless ideas, basically. So reach out if any of you need help. I will be willing to draw. Uh, and my, my fees, I think, are pretty reasonable. $1,000 per character. That's it. Flat rate. I don't need royalties, commission. Just 1000 bucks for that drawing. You saw my, my skills. So, yeah quality work here um yeah that's it i don't know what else to say uh, i'm really excited to see what these companies come up with next and to see the conservative reaction of course we know the way that they will react but i i just i like to watch it i enjoy them being outraged or at least feigning outrage i think that this is absolutely entertaining and you know if we're not going to get political change in the united states if we're not going to save the planet from catastrophic climate change at least we can laugh at the stupidity of the situation that makes us incapable of doing anything politically at least we can enjoy this dumb bullshit that doesn't matter at all in the grand scheme of things Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas.